Innovation is something literally I'm born with. Not that I'm an inventor myself. My father has been one of the most successful inventors of the packaging industry. So innovation is something we have been living with for our entire life. Sustainability is important for me and for our company because I really believe that how we live today is not sustainable for the generations to come. So why not step up and try to deliver? The Aeropack is a more sustainable product. It is PET, it's transparent, it's environmentally friendly. It's moreover consumer friendly. And at the same price, you deliver something to add to this planet. And I really believe that is the business model of the future. Aerosols have been ubiquitous since the 1950s. Sure, they've changed, most significantly in the 80s when CFCs were banned. But to this day, most aerosols use volatile chemicals as propellants, making them hazardous and hard to recycle. Quint Kelders is CEO of Aeropack, and he's hoping to change that. Instead of metal, his product uses PET, an easily recyclable plastic. And instead of hazardous gas, Aeropacks use compressed air, plus some innovative technology that took five years to perfect. So the benefits of Aeropack versus any other aerosol application is that we have, from the beginning to the end, always the same working pressure. When you buy, let's say, a shaving gel package in a traditional aerosol packaging. The pressure is very high once you dispense it for the first time. If you then come to the end of the lifetime of, of the package because it's almost empty, you will see that the pressure has dropped significantly and that you think, I want to squeeze the pack to get my last piece of formulation out. With Aeropack, that's not the case. We do dispense from the beginning to the end exactly the same. Second is that because it is a transparent packaging, you also see what you buy. You are able to see the product you have purchased. And because we have a 98% evacuation of the formulation, what you buy, you use. If you want to be a sustainable alternative, it is great if you have a great innovation and a better consumer convenience. But if that comes at a large upcharge, if the consumer has to pay a lot more money to be sustainable, it will take longer before you have changed the attitude of that consumer. Being able to produce and sell the Aeropack for the same price as a traditional aerosol is a source of great pride for Quint Gelders. This is only achievable through scale. Aeropack's 25,000 square meter facilities produce close to 350 million Aeropacks annually. And when you're selling the sustainable aerosol alternative, it's vital that your production methods are themselves as sustainable as possible. That starts with everything under one roof. So literally in this building, we have resin coming in and the final product, what we call an RTF, ready to fill Aeropack, which can go to the customer, is being completely manufactured in this plant. Secondly, the plant is highly automized. So that also brings you a much more friendly carbon footprint of your manufacturing site. From the energy perspective, our dream would be to place windmills uh, literally next to the plant, but that is technically not that easy um, for the amount of energy we consume. So what we have done is to make Made sure with all suppliers and machinery we have purchased is to go to the lowest energy consumption available in that supplier. Then the location of this plant is being very deliberately chosen because we are on the river and the river is linked directly to the harbor of Rotterdam. We simply dock our RTF Aeropack on a container freighter 500 meters from our building to go to Rotterdam and then the other parts of the world. Quint Kelders isn't trying to change the world. He's more interested in making it easier for us to change the world, as consumers and as industrial players. And sure, he wants Aeropack to succeed as a business, but he doesn't need to dominate the market. What I do hope is to set the trend, but I'm not that arrogant to say that we will have the complete aerosol industry changed over to our technology. It would be fair to say we are able to gain a very solid market share with our technology because we have a better alternative. But we are going to work and to collaborate much more with the governmental bodies of this industry, the aerosol federations of this world, to work jointly to see what can you do together to make sure this industry, the consumer, is using a much friendlier type of packaging because that's I think the most important part you know I've explained to our industry a few times um, the last uh, last 12 months I'm not the enemy you know we, we are an innovative company which takes consumer experience together with sustainability and that's something completely else thanks for watching 
Find out more at aeropack.com. Click through for more interviews with Europe's leading innovators and please subscribe for the latest business, finance and strategic insights from europeanceo.com.